Hello game theorists, so if you're watching this video, it probably means you have an exam coming up soon. The most common questions I get about the exam are how many questions will be on the test and will there be a curve. Now those questions don't actually help you do better than the test. So let's talk about some things that will help you do better. There are lots of resources available to you and I recommend take advantage of all of them. So for starters, you have a textbook and you have your notes. So make sure you can read through the book and your notes and make sure it all makes sense to you. Now occasionally I do have some students who do that quite diligently, but they somehow still get a poor grade on the exams. So I talk to them and try to figure out what's going on, how all the studying not translate into good grades. What Turns out to be the problem is that they neglected problem solving. So in economics, and especially in game theory, it's important to be able to use your knowledge to solve problems and get practice in solving problems. So don't just do the book in your notes. You also want to make sure you can work through your old homework problems. So you have answer keys to that posted asset deadline. However, you should first try to resolve all the problems on your own and only then check the answer key afterwards. You learn more from trying to do the problem on your own than you do from look at the answer key where I already did the problem for you. A common problem is that you look at the key and you think, oh yeah, I could do it on the test, but then on a test there's no one laying out the steps for you and then you figure out you can't do it. So it's better to try the problems on your own first, check the answer key later. The same applies for the practice problems. So try to work through those on your own first and then check the answer key up on my courses later. The practice session gives you a taste of what the exam might be like. I don't think I've ever literally copied a question from the practice session onto the exam, but it does give you an idea of the types of questions I ask and some things that would be good to know just in general preparation. So that's another resource. If you've done well in the practice session, it probably means you're in good shape for the exam. If you did badly in the practice session, then you want to step up your game before the midterm. Now, it might be the case that you worked through all these problems, you've written your notes, but it's still not all clear to you, right? You still be uncertain about a few other things. So be sure to stop by my extra office hours. We'll still have our regular office hours before exam, but also schedule some additional office hours on top of that because I recognize that before exam, students have questions. I want you guys to be prepared and do your best. Um, back when I was an undergrad, I took a game theory class and the professor advised us, get a good night's sleep before the exam. So I said this earlier, but econ, particular game theory is a lot about problem solving. So because problem solving is so central to game theory, I would even say that someone who has a basic grasp of the ideas but slept well might do better than someone who studied very deeply but pulled an old nighter. So having your mind at its peak and being ready to perform and being well rested is going to be pretty important so you can solve these problems. A lot of game theory is not just reciting definitions, but rather working through novel problems. So those are my tips for getting through exams. Um, so best of luck out there. I hope you guys all get A's.